Pitcher says it all. Can't reveal. That lightsaber. <laughs> Anyhow. First one up. Zeta. Unfettered rage. So he goes and boom, boom, hits you right in the head. Deal physical damage to target enemy with a 50% chance to attack again. Doubled if the target is a Jedi. So 100%. <laughs> On the second attack, Darth Malgus gains 20% max health, stacking max 100% until the end of the encounter. These attacks can't be countered or evaded. Sith Empire allies gain critical damage up for two turns. Can't be countered or evaded? Cool. Not being able to evade it is cool. I don't know about countered. What kind of light side counters? All I ever think of when I think of somebody that counters is Dooku and his annoying countering nonstop. Special one, Deprived Senses, Omicron. So it's a fight, Force Lightning move. He likes to go after um, <laughs> Jedi Knight Guardians. <laughs> Final text. Deal physical damage to target enemy and inflict blind and shock for two turns. If the target was already shocked, shock all enemies. Ooh, for two turns and inflict ability block on the target enemy for two turns. Darth Malleus taunts for two turns. Jeez, just like the other one. What's up with all those two turns? Phrase it better so it doesn't have to say that 15 million times. Still, though, that's cool. If the target was already shocked, shock all enemies for two turns and inflict an ability block on the target. Hmm. Now, while in Grand Arena, debuffs inflicted by this ability can't be resisted. And Sith Empire allies gain critical chance up for two turns. If the target was already shocked, deal true damage to all other enemies, and Darth Malgus gains 50% turn meter. Ooh, true damage, that's cool. So that's just, that's regardless of um, defense and all that. Pretty sure that goes straight to health as well. Like, it, it avoids protection and just goes, counts tor straight towards health. Special 2, Dark Deception. That's only a Zeta. What does he do? Still killing Jedi Knight Guardian. He hates Jedi Knight Guardian. Ooh, what's up with that uh, Jedi Consular over there with the double-bladed double, double -bladed saber? That's pretty cool looking. Final text. Deal true damage to target enemy equal to 40% of Darth Malgus's max health and inflict doubt on them for two turns. Well, I see now why they say that he needs to have super high health, because this attack is only going to get beefier the more health he has. So he's kind of like um, Grievous. The more health Grievous has, the more um, damage he can do. Hmm. If Darth Malgus is in the leader slot and not the ally slot, this doubt can't be resisted. Ooh, there you go. Increase target enemies' cooldowns by one, which also can't be resisted. And Darth Malgus gains protection up 20%, and additional protection up 5% stacking for each debuff on each ally for two turns. Oh, so that's where it's coming in how they gain bonuses from the allies being debuffed because right there, you gain 5% protection up per debuff. So if they're loaded, that's a lot of protection up you're getting. <laughs> Doubt. They can't gain bonus turn meter or buffs or recover protection. She's all these stupid ors. They can't gain bonus turn meter, comma, buffs, comma, or recover protection. Leader. Here we go. I've been waiting to see what this is all about because I hear it's juicy from the uh, developer insights. So let's get it. Leader, Legacy of Power. It has an Omicron as well, so that should help out with all that uh, uh, Galactic Legend stuff they're talking about. So, final text. Sith Empire allies are immune to turn meter reduction. Somebody else has that. Who else has that? Is that just, um, is that Jedi Knight Luke, or is that GLs, or who? I've, I've read this before. Anyway, for each Sith Empire ally at the start of battle, excluding summoned allies, <coughs> Sith Empire ally allies have plus 10% critical chance and max health and plus 10 speed. Just plain old 10? <laughs> I mean, I guess it's for each. So it's plus 50 overall, but like, that okay. <laughs> the f first time any other ally falls below 50% health, 
At the end of that turn, all enemies are inflicted with fear for one turn, which can't be dispelled, evaded, or resisted. Huh, that's, that's something. <laughs> Darth Malgus is immune to stun and fear. Immune to stun, there you go, that's good. Fear, eh, I don't, that's not as common. Stun, though, is a pain in the dick, so that's cool. Whenever doubt expires from an enemy, Sith Empire allies gain a stack of we have returned for four turns, which can't be copied, dispelled, or prevented. We have returned. It's plus 5% critical damage and offense per stack. Okay. Now in Grand Arenas. <clears throat> um, while in Grand Arenas, Sith Empire allies have plus 50% mastery, plus 30 more speed, so that's 80 total now, and plus 80% critical avoidance. <sighs> okay, I don't really care about that, but okay. And damage they receive is decreased by 15%. Okay, that's kind of cool. Whenever a Sith Empire ally is inflicted with a debuff, they recover 10% health and protection. Whenever doubt is dispelled on an enemy, that enemy is inflicted with exposed for two turns, which can't be resisted. While enemies are inflicted with doubt, they have minus 20 speed, my, uh, 20% speed, minus 20% tenacity, and minus 30% critical damage. Which, that's actually significant, because critical damage is um you know plus 50 percent typically so if uh you got minus 30 you're only doing 20 percent more which is still you're still doing a little bit more but it's not as significant you know what i mean <laughs> at the start of battle if all allies are sith which i would hope so they should not only be sith but also sith empire Excluding summoned allies, Darth Malgus gains an additional 50% max health and max protection and 60 speed. Holy crap, okay, so now the speed is really starting to stack up. I made fun of it, but Darth Malgus gets plus 60 speed here. He gets plus 30 speed if he's in Grand Arena, so that's plus 90. And he can get plus 50 more if everybody's Sith Empire or whatever it was. Uh, yeah, Sith Empire. So, 50 plus, what was I at? 679 plus 50, so 140 speed, plus 140 speed. That's kind of significant. You know, if you were sitting at 300, you'd be at 440 now, so you're flying along. At the start of ba battle, Darth Malgus recovers 100% health and protection. What? What does that mean? What? What? I'd hope he has 100% health and protection at the start of battle. What, what is that supposed to mean? What? At the start of battle, Darth Malgus recovers. What does that mean? <laughs> I would hope so at the start of battle that you're fully healthy. Or are they saying that if you were on, if if he was on defense and people attacked and he didn't quite die yet and other characters died but then you ended up winning? that instead of starting out the next round at, you know, say you had no, say Darth Malgus had no protection and like, say, 50% health remaining the previous round. So now instead of starting round two with him at 50% health, no protection, he's going to start at full health and protection again. Is that what that's saying? Or else, what, 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 what does that mean? <laughs> I'm sure it'll be in the comments from the community. Maybe somebody will uh, explain it down there. Corbon's Legacy. This is an Omicron as well? Hold on, that's three now, right? One, two... Oh, it's only two? Zeta, Omicron, one. Zeta. Yeah, uh, here it is, Omicron two. Yeah, Omicron three, holy crap. Three Omicrons? Does anybody else have that? I don't think so. I thought the most besides this was... um. Uh, J Boba Fett signing a Django with two. Jeez, three Omicrons? No wonder they say he's uh, capable of being a GL contender because he's got all these th bonuses. <laughs> Final text at the start of battle. What is this all unique? Darth Malgus gains 5% max health and max protection for each other Sith ally and 10% max health and max protection for each other Sith Empire ally. Darth Malgus gain, uh, takes reduced damage from percent health damage effects, is immune to healing immunity. Jeez, another one. So he can't get stunned, he can't get sh uh, fear, and he can't not heal. 
<clears throat> and while debuffed, he gains 10% defense and health steal. While Darth Malgus is taunting, he has plus 60% counter chance, plus 20% defense, and minus 20% tenacity. That's weird. Why does he have minus tenacity, though? <laughs> so, well, actually, yeah, you would want him susceptible to debuffs. I was just about to say he's going to be more susceptible to debuffs while he's taunting. But no, you do want that because well, then he, then you, you know, the more debuffs he has on him, that's what, 10% or 5% per debuff. So, hmm. Why does this almost sound like a leader ability itself as well? That's kind of goofy. <laughs> if all allies were Sith at the start of battle, at the start of each encounter, Darth Malgus taunts for two turns. Whenever doubt expires on an enemy, that enemy is inflicted with fear for one turn. The first time each turn doubt is dispelled on an enemy, two random enemies who didn't already have it are inflicted with doubt for two turns at the, start, at the end of their turn. These debuffs can't be resisted. So it goes to two of them, so you get it off one boom, it goes to two. That's kind of cool. I mean, if Malgus is on your team and that's happening. Um, also, it said if all allies were Sith at the start of battle. But I would assume that means Sith Empire as well, but I'm only calling it out because they do keep differentiating between Sith and Sith Empire. So is that only Sith that that works for, or does that also work for the Sith Empire? I would hope Sith Empire because, I mean, that's kind of what you'd want to be doing for this team to maximize it, is using your Sith Empire squad, but I don't know. It only specifically says Sith, so... Anyway... Into the Grand Arenas. If all allies were Sith at the start of battle, is that just Sith or Sith Empire? <laughs> Instead, the first time each turn doubt is dispelled on an enemy, all other enemies that didn't already have it are afflicted with doubt for two turns at the end of that turn, which can't be resisted. Okay, so that's the only change. That's a small change. That's kind of... <laughs> he has three Omicrons, and this one's kind of worthless. Instead of two characters getting the debuffs, it goes to all of them. Like, oh, okay. Cool. What a great Omicron. <laughs> I mean, obviously it helps. It'll be worth it, especially in GA, but I'm just saying. Like, seriously? <laughs> Questions. Question. The lead Omicron from Malgus says for each Sith Empire ally at the start of battle, Sith Empire allies gain plus 10% critical chance, max health, and 10, plus 10 speed. Does Malgus include himself? Yes. I, I just assumed that right off the bat. He is Sith Empire, so why would it not? Question 2. Does Doubt function like a normal debuff? If so, and it could theoretically be removed via an ability from Malgus's team like Culling Blade, does that count as an expiration or a dispel? Answer, yes. Doubt functions as a normal debuff, and an ability like Culling Blade would count as a dispel. I had to put the quote at the end there. So, that, wait, dispel, so expression, yeah, so dispel is when it spreads, so you could force the spread on other characters like that? Huh, that's kind of funny. Question, does doubt stack? Answer, no. Oh, good, I didn't think that the there was community, but there is. Does doubt stack? What does doubt do again? I thought it did stack, based on what it said. Can't gain, oh. Well, yeah, why would that stack, actually? Never mind. Can't gain bonus turn meter or buffs or recover protection. How is that even going to stack? <laughs> That's a stupid question. Anyway, we're going to go into the community now. I just want to see what they say. So this is basically it for the kit reveal. Um, if you want to stick around and see what community thinks, cool. If not, it's time to leave. And thanks for checking it out this far with me. Now that that's out of the way, community. I'm so glad that the Sith have returned. Well, it's only one so far. Love Old Republic content and era. So pretty cool to see Malgus being added. And as a strong mu unit. Conquest, not Marquis. I know, Marquis usually suck. As someone who played plays Swator, this was really awesome to see happen. What is We Have Returned? Oh, never mind. Found it. We Have Returned is plus 5% critical damage and offense first tag. Uh -oh. I still won't up my Inquisitors for this, laughing my butt off. But I'll push for the Red Crate harder than ever. I don't think you need your Inquisitors beefed up for this. Do you? It's it's in Conquest. So, 
All you gotta do is compete in conquest. You don't need to have your. I mean, yeah, they're gonna add stupid things in there. They said that would require the Inquisitors, but like, you can still get by just fine without beefing them up. Sith will rule the galaxy. You have to give us 145 shards for medium conquest. What? <laughs> well, okay. Tell me to worry about things again. I can see this will be fun. <laughs> what? <laughs> I got this from my collector's edition copy of Swidor. What a light. Oh. You got a Malgus figure. And then a goofy Yoda. That Malgus figure is cool. I have a Nihilus. I thought my Nihilus was cool, but... It's pretty cool, too. Why'd you take it out of the box, though? What are you doing? <laughs> What's up with this weird Mr. Potato Head Yoda? <laughs> wow, extremely strong. Malak V2. <laughs> I know. Not only does he look like Malak, but, like, him and... You know, before, when we started this, I was saying that like, you could sub him out for Malak, but I'm thinking, no, why would you want to do that? Keep him and Malak together. Jeez, they'll, they'll be impossible to beat. They won't be impossible, but you know what I'm saying. It'll be a super solid combo. <laughs> You must be super excited to unlock him. A boring comment. Another non-canon fake Star Wars character. What? F you. The non-canon still count just because they didn't put them. The, the things that are common are ones that they put to a film. That's what makes canon. So just because it's in a book only or, or in a video in a, in a video game only doesn't make it not not. It doesn't make it any less special. It still is part of the Star Wars universe. It still counts. There's still a huge, full, giant backstory for all these characters. Everything in Star Wars has a giant backstory. So whether it made it into a movie or not, it doesn't make it any less awesome. So, F you. This is... Who cares? So sick of this. Why? What, so you hate Nihilus and all that? Oh, no, no, I can't. I never had a Nihilus movie yet. Where's Bail Organa? Saw Gerrera. Bail Organa? What's he even gonna do? He's he'd be He had like even less screen time than Mon Mothma did. How, how are you gonna make him a character? Saw Guerrera. I mean Saw I do think it's kinda weird that they didn't put him in the game. <laughs> when they made the Rogue One characters, it was like why why did you skip Saw? <laughs> they put in someone random like Bodhi Rook that you barely had backstar on. He's the guy that was like the bad guy in the cell next to um Baze and, and Chira. And then he's, and it's, I don't know, it's like, how did you make a whole kit for him, but you couldn't do anything for Saw? It's kind of weird. Anyways, people who actually happen in real Star Wars, f -f -f what the heck is a fufus? Honestly, leave tunes from video games and cheesy legend books to that. Not a single tune from the Star Wars Resistance show. That's true, too. I forgot about that. How come nothing happened from the Resistance show yet? Like, when Rebels came out, they loaded up the game. When Force Awakens came out, they loaded up the game. When, uh... What else came out and they loaded up? The, the, the Solo one. Rogue One, like I said. Oh, but the Resistance show they didn't add anybody. Keep a cannon and stop making fake characters OP in the game. F you. This comment is stupid. F you. The fake characters are fun and awesome. Somebody better respond to this. I'm liking this. Yeah, Knights of the Old, Re Old Republic and um, whatever Tor stands for, I forget. Content is still my favorite kind of content. And Darth Malagus is a great pick for some Switterer content. Here's this idiot. Hate to break it to you, but all Star Wars characters are fake. This game has never been beholden the canon anyways. I mean, yeah, I guess. You, you have a point. All of Star Wars is fake. It, it started in George Lucas's head. So, you can complain as much as you want that these characters weren't in movies or TV shows, but, uh, <laughs> makes no difference. <laughs> Last I checked, every character in Star Wars was fake. On top of that, Coder and the Old Republic in general is considered some of the greatest Star Wars content out there, albeit only if you're versed in it. Considering Swator is still ongoing and the Coder remake is coming out, it's likely they are being embraced into official canon as well. Dang it, what does T-O-R stand for? I keep forgetting. I mean, no, not core. Yeah, T-O-R, Star Wars. The Old Republic. Oh, okay, yeah. And then Knights of the Old Republic. Okay. You want a Resistance show character and you dislike Malgus Coder? No words. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I didn't want to 
get too mean, but I was gonna say the Resistance show did seem pretty stupid. I bought it, but I didn't watch it. I just bought it just because it's Star Wars and I like to collect that stuff. But I was like, I don't care about Resistance. I've said this since day one. That's why I don't have Rey and I have no progress towards Rey because I don't care about Resistance. And um, that show, was that show a failure? I feel like it only had like one season. Didn't it just have one season? So, yeah, I mean, this kid's complaining about, oh, there's no Resistance show, which nobody watched. <laughs> like, nobody even talks about it. Everybody talks about the shows on Disney+. Plus. Nobody talked about <laughs> the Resistance show. Oh, that's a sick show. But yeah, but you don't like Malgus or Knights of the Republic or Old Republic. It is pretty insane, like, what's wrong with you? Holy shoot, is the only thing I can say right now. This, that's flipping amazing. It is, other than Conquest Unlock. Like, ugh. Honestly, so happy that Magus is coming to the game. Defiantly going to wail harder. I'm still waiting for the day they make a GL Malgus Revan, just an old Republic character. Kit looks insane. Hoping the feats in this next session of Conquest aren't too ridiculous. Maybe we can know soon? Bro, <laughs> it's CG you're talking about. The feats are going to be ridiculous. They're going to have all kinds of stupid stuff for Inquisitorious, and they're going to have all kinds of stupid stuff for, you know, you know, use Lord Vader to do this. Like, oh, okay, because I have Lord Vader, so let me just do that. <laughs> and to make it uh, fake, 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 fake. <laughs> More Old Republic, please. Would love to see Mitra, Surak, Satirshan, Brianna, and Shay Vizla in the game. One, two, three, four. What are better than any prequel or kid cartoon character? Kids cartoon. Probably, yep. I I'm definitely on board with the kids cartoon characters. As far as any prequel character, I don't know. I don't know... Uh, the Old Republic well enough to be able to say that. I mean, probably though. Those guys are sick. Bane, Bane, Darth Bane's sick. Malak is sick. Um, this guy they're at it now, Malgus is pretty sick. Who else is awesome from that era? So yeah, but that's way better than like a Qui Gon. You know, he's from the movies. Don't get me, don't get me wrong, Qui Gon's cool, but I'm just saying in comparison, Darth Malgus, Qui Gon, duh, Malgus. <laughs> He is canon. Yeah, you know why? Because he's in the fucking universe. The Star Wars universe. They all are canon. It's just Disney or whoever used to be a pain in the butt and didn't want to accept the books and stuff. Our time has come. For three years we prepared. We grew stronger while you rested in your cradle of power. Believing your people were safe and protected. But you were deceived as our powers of the dark side have blinded you. You assumed no force can challenge you, and now, finally, we have returned. I have no idea what he sounds like. I'm just trying to make a sinister enough voice. You were deceived. Hmm. <laughs> L moment. Oh, yeah. That's not just a L. It's like a whole entire book worth of L's. The Bible just replace every letter with L's only. Let's go! What? They, they put the... They... Hey, get out of here. Beautiful. It's sad that it's three months away from unlocking. Darth Malgus is really one of the best characters in Star Wars Universe. I'm really happy. The only part I'm concerned with is that I think Malgus is a GL level of a character, but I can see that if they decided to put Malgus on a level of a Conquest character, then I think we will get the GL Revan announcement soon. By the way, add that immune to healing immunity thing to Lord Vader's kit without ultimate state. By the way, add that immune to healing immunity thing to Lord Vader's kit without ultimate state. Okay. I'm wondering if they're going to keep this trend, keep with the trend of having the Conquest characters tie into the Galactic Legends, like with Cat and Maul. If so, I can only imagine that Vitiate Valkorian Tenebrae will be the next Dark Side GL. And if they decide to continue with honoring Switter this year, then I'm guessing the Light Side Conquest will will be Satil Shan, and the Light Side GL will be Revan Reborn. 
Revan Reborn? How many versions of Revan are there? Jeez. Dark Side, Light Side, Reborn. With the Light Side characters focusing on Old Republic more than Jedi, since we already have JML for Jedi. Anyone else think this might be likely? Any other guesses for Conquest Galactic Legends? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, though, yeah, it's pretty sexy and cool and awesome, and uh, it'll be a long time before I have them, but when I do get them, I'm going to be sure to work on them, that's for sure. I mean, like, Relic and all that, get them out nice and juicy and beefy, and then boom, switch out Darth Revan for him and let it go to town. Anyways, that's all I got. And that's all they got and everything. So, yeah, thanks for checking this out. And until next time, I did say see you.